Hi everyone, I'm Gislain Durif from CNRS in France. And first, thanks for the opportunity to present our work at USR 2020. So today I'm going to speak about Keops, a library to do seamless kernel operations on GPU without memory overflows. This is a joint work with Benjamin Charlier, Jean Fedi, Joanne Glonès, and François David Collot. All the information about Keops can be found online at the library website kerneloperation.io. So first, what is Keops? Keops means kernel operation. It is a C++ library and it is available in R through the R package, R Keops. What Keops can do, basically, it can compute generic reduction of very large arrays. For instance, if you have a very large matrix A indexed by I and J, Um, a reduction is a row-wise of or column-wise sum of the matrix elements. Here you have the uh, row-wise sum over the index i, and here you have the column-wise sum over the index j. More generally, Keops can compute kernel reduction and the associated gradients. I will explain later what is a kernel function. But intuitively, imagine that you have a matrix whose elements are given by a formula and you want to do some row-wise or column-wise sum. So, Keops was designed to manage very large dimension, even larger than GPU memory, up to million, and to do fast computation on GPU without memory overflow. A quick word, uh, kernels are widely used in statistics and machine learning, for instance, for kernel density estimation, in classification, regression, in kernel embeddings to compare distribution, in interpolation and cringing, in optimal transport. And what are the motivations behind Keops? It was to develop a, a user-friendly tool to do GPU computing. In R, there's only a few solutions to do GPU computing and they were designed for specific tasks. You can check this web page. Over the past five years, GPU computing development efforts was oriented toward deep learning. For instance, you have library like PyTorch or TensorFlow that provide GPU implementation of common operation um, used to implement neural networks. But uh, GPU computing can be used for general purpose computation and not only neural networks. But uh, to do that, you have uh, to write generic codes using um, low-level tools like CUDA or OpenCL. So there was a need to provide an effortless tool for GPU computing with a wide range of applications, statistics and machine learning. So what is the core of Keops and what it can do with kernel operation and reduction? First, uh, we have, let's imagine that we have some data vectors, uh, X and Y, that are d-dimensional and indexed by I and J. The kernel function will be an application, uh, a real value function, um, that is applied to a pair of vectors. And it will correspond to a scalar product between these two vectors, but in a different space than the usual d-dimensional uh, real-value space. Very intuitively, a kernel function will be a similarity mature between uh, the data vectors, but that is different from the Euclidean distance. And for instance, you have the linear kernel, which is simply the standard scalar product, or you have the Gaussian kernel, which is based on the Gaussian function. And a kernel reduction is simply a row-wise or column-wise reduction on the kernel matrix whose entries are given by um, the results of the kernel function applied to the data vector indexed by i and j. And you can compute even more complex operations like reduction on combination of kernels and scalar product. Like here, um, row-wise reduction or column-wise reduction. Why do we want to do that on GPU? Actually, matrix kernel reduction are combination of generic matrix operation and uh, GPU are very good for matrix computation. So uh, we are going to use GPUs and what are the interests of GPUs? Uh, th they're made of thousands of computing units, so they're very fast with heavily parallelized computations. 
The problem is that the, the amount of memory available for each computing unit is very small. So you have some issue to process very large data. And the challenge is that um, the kernel matrix K can be very large, of up to millions of time millions, and it is not possible to store it in the GPU memory. Sometimes it is bigger than the GPU memory. So you have to be smart about how you iterate through the rows and columns to do the reduction and to compute the kernel matrix and then do the reduction. So on GPU, the, the memory is managed. Um, so there, there's two steps in the, in the management of the memory. First, the data uh, is, is initially stored on the host in the RAM of your computer and it should be transferred to the GPU to do the compilation. So that is a bottleneck because the link between the RAM and the GPU is not that fast. Inside the GPU, you have different kinds of memory, um, some that is local to each computing unit, some that is shared. And actually, if you want to do a fast computation, the K, um, the K is to uh, use uh, the shared memory smartly to reduce the number of transfer between the host and the device. So to do that in Keops, we have a tiling implementation. I don't have time to detail it here, but uh, I have joined an example in the slide so you can um, get the slide online and check it to understand better. So uh, I have a small uh, example of a benchmark to compare some um, computation time uh, between Keops and PyTorch to do some uh, Gaussian matrix vector product on a GPU with different data size. So here um, basically um, are the results. Here you have uh, the data size and here you have the runtime. The first point is that for small sample size up to thousands, you have a similar performance between um, PyTorch and Keops. But for larger sample size, uh, bigger than thousands, Keops here uh, in triangle will outperform PyTorch here in square. And you have a memory overflow with PyTorch uh, on large sample. So it's top here uh, where the data does not fit anymore in the GPU memory. But with Keops, uh, you can process uh, larger data than, CPU, uh, than GPU memory. Sorry. I also have uh, another um, benchmark that is available in the slide and you can check online. So how uh, you use, uh, how wor Keops works, sorry. Um, so basically what you want to do is to compute a mathematic formula based on data vectors. So here you want, for instance, to apply the exponential to the scalar product uh, between x and y. So here it's what you want to compute. And uh, to do that, you will just have to write um, a formula that is in Keops encoding as a string. As a string. So you just have to write a text string um, describing your operation. So here uh, you want to apply the <coughs> sorry the exponential to the scalar product between x and y. So here it's what you're going to write. <coughs> and then uh, inside Keob, under the hood, the formula will be expanded um, in the C++ code using templates. Here um, you have the uh, templated function. And actually a formula is an instantiation of a variety recursively defined templated class. And Keops will, compi will compile um, your uh, custom operator on the fly uh, to be able to compute on GPU. So with Keops, um, you have you can use a wide range of elementary operations like simple vector operation, elementary, elementary real valued function, simple matrix operation, and matrix reduction, like some but also minimum, maximum, and so on. And a formula will be a combination of these operations. So how you use it? So 
First, we come back to the website where you have a complete documentation. You have installation instruction and you have to know that Archeops is available on the CRAN and you also have some examples. So uh, a quick word on the Keops stack. Uh, Keops is hosted on GitHub. It is distributed under uh, the MIT license. And uh, to finish, I, I will present you a small example of how you use Keops in R. So what we want to do here is to compute um, a reduction. So here is a sum of um, a Gaussian kernel between two data vector x and y indexed by a, uh, i sorry, and j and uh, um, apply to a filter matrix uh, which is b. Here you have some uh, filter vector b indexed by j. So okay, it is uh, an operation, it is what it is. And how you're going to do that in R? So first you're going to write um, what is um, your computation using um, words. So here uh, you have the square norm, so the square distance between the data. Uh, you apply the exponential, you multiply it by the filter and you do a reduction, a sum reduction over a dimension. It is your formula. Then you define the arguments of your formula and your di their dimension. So x is a vector indexed by i of dimension 3, y is a vector indexed by j of dimen th dimension 3, and b is a vector indexed by j of dimension 6. s is just a scalar parameter. So based on the formula and its arguments, uh, you can define the new operator op. So here you will define a, a new function that will actually compile some uh, C++ code. And uh, if you call, then if you call the uh, op uh, function, it will call the uh, compile C++ code. Uh, let's say that you have some data whose dimension corresponds to uh, what you wrote here. And you can uh, then call the new uh, op function applied to your data. Uh, if you, the, the code is the same if you want to uh, run your computation on CPU or GPU. The only difference if you want to use GPU is that you have to um, uh, call this function that um, will say to the uh, new operator that uh, its computation will be run on the GPU. And then you can also take the gradient regarding uh, the X variable, for instance, of your operator. So to conclude, uh, Keops uh, allow you to do um, seamless kernel operations. So you just have to write formulas with simple matrix operation in R on GPU to do fast computation with auto differentiation uh, based on an automatic gradient computation and without memory overflows thanks to a tiling implementation. Uh, so a quick word in the future, we hope to develop lazy evaluation in R like um, what we have in PyCops in Python. So here uh, you, don't you don't need to write a formula, you just write symbolic uh, operation that are not actually computed based on the symbolic representation of the data. And then when you do the, the reduction, it is actually the moment where uh, the computation are done. So thank you very much for your attention. We have a paper available on archive and pending publication. And I recall the, the website of the library and the GitHub page. Thank you very much.